A lot of idiots like to use Bayes' theorem to argue for the probability of Christ's resurrection. I'll leave a list of videos that get into the details of Bayes' theorem in the description. Apologists often cite it as a rebuttal to the assertion that testimony alone is never enough to establish that some guy rose from the dead given the improbability of such an occurrence. William Lane Craig, for example, points out that in calculating the probability of an occurrence, it is not enough to just look at the probability of the event per se, but rather the probability that an event occurred given a certain set of evidence. This is the kind of calculation that Bayes' theorem makes. In his debate with Bart Ehrman, Craig accuses Ehrman of making the mistake of only considering the intrinsic probability of the occurrence of the resurrection, rather than the probability of its occurrence given the evidence. He says, because historians can only establish what probably happened, and a miracle of this nature is highly improbable, the historian cannot say it probably occurred. In other words, in calculating the probability of Jesus' resurrection, the only factor he considers is the intrinsic probability of the resurrection alone. He just ignores all the other factors, and that's just mathematically fallacious. The probability of the resurrection could still be very high, even though the probability of R on B alone is terribly low. Specifically, Dr. Ehrman just ignores the crucial factors of the probability of the naturalistic alternatives to the resurrection. If these are sufficiently low, they outbalance any intrinsic improbability of the resurrection hypothesis. Craig's problem, though, is that he doesn't fill in any of these variables with actual values. Craig dismisses Ehrman's appeal to the low intrinsic probability of a miracle occurring, but the probability of a miracle's occurrence relative to the evidence is still dependent on what that intrinsic probability actually is. Until you know that intrinsic probability, you can't complete the formula and you can't draw any conclusions. And here's the biggest problem. How the fuck do you calculate the intrinsic probability of the occurrence of a miracle? You fucking can't. Even if there is a god, this variable is unknown and probably unknowable. I don't see how it's even estimable. And if this variable is unknown, you cannot calculate the occurrence of a miracle to be probable regardless of the degree to which a set of evidence may mitigate its improbability. If the intrinsic probability of a miracle is only one in a Googleplex, naturalistic explanations will still be more probable no matter what testimonial evidence is presented. 